All right, well, the Hubson H501S fly out of range using the high edition H109S transmitter. And as you can see on this waypoint, I've got it set for 1.7 meters, which is way beyond my range. So let's, let's see what happens here. I forgot to record. Okay, there it goes. In fact, you can even turn off the transmitter, this top part and it will continue to do the waypoint. So you don't even need that, that on, it'll continue its journey. You always want to make sure that you have your first waypoint close to you. I've seen it do a toilet bowl. In that case, you're going to need to land it and redo a calibration, the compass calibration. So we're going, we're climbing here about 50 meters, about 150 feet up. pretty good. And we're at about 450 meters. At this point, the RF is showing zero percent, 630, 650 meters. That looks like I'm going to lose my map. Seven hundred eighteen meters. No, it says seven sixty one. So I've definitely flown beyond capability here. Lost our video and lost our RF. RF. Oh, no, it came back a little bit there. That's good to know. Looks like we're doing good. Okay, 821 meters. Battery is 7.7, .7, so still have enough to return. Still see some video here. 
I'm at about a thousand meters now. Make that 1100 meters. I see it's registering on the uh, blue display. Oh, there it updated. So we're getting some signal off and on. Okay, my map figured it out. Oh, look at that. Everything's popping in play. Now about 1,100 meters. Our strength is zero. Quad looks good. Got pretty good range here. Six minutes into the flight. Probably gonna be about a 13 minute flight. Check your battery. As the signal comes in and out, I'm at 7.6, so still pretty good. So I've got some good video. Last known distance was 1,100 meters. Like I said, at this point, you could turn off your radio and it would continue on the waypoint. The only way to get this thing back now is if it could get a transmission from the transmitter and you flipped on return to home and if it did get that signal it would turn around and come home otherwise it'll just continue the waypoint here you see we still have a signal there a little bit well no So where we are trying to go is right over here. That's our point. So everything's out of range. I don't see the quad anymore. Well, maybe I see a speck. It's hard to say. Oh, look at that. Distance is still uh, about 1100. I don't know if we've turned around yet or not. Can't tell. Probably. Yeah, it's into the sun. The sun is behind me. Alright, so we're 8 minutes 40 seconds into the flight. So what I did on this flight is I would go maybe out a thousand meters, check the battery, I'd go out 1300 meters until finally I went out to 3200 meters. I didn't go out too far, I just wanted to make sure everything would work. So I'm going out mm -hmm, probably about a little over two miles round trip. It looks like we are making our way back. That buzz you hear is because it thinks the battery is low. The battery on the H501S does not register on this transmitter. But everything else seems to function okay. Alright, I'm hoping for a signal here. 
It's kind of a relief once you see that. Coming up on a park here on the right. It's about where we left it right here. So we should get a signal pretty soon. That arrow should turn around. At this point, if you notice your voltage is a little bit low, you might want to flip it um, off the waypoint and get it home quick. Maybe even flip off the GPS switch uh, just so you can make it home. That's always scary. Oh, that's good news. Shoot. All right. We're about 800 meters out. Battery is 7.2. I'm pretty confident it's going to make it home. The spec is a little bigger spec now, I see. Still a ways out. Kind of not in the ideal place here. I'm on the sidewalk, that's why it's going in and out. I do now see it. Bigger? Oh, it was behind a palm tree. That's why it's going in and out. Okay, my vo uh, battery voltage is 7.2. Altitude 53 meters, distance about 250 meters. Again, you can see here's my quad here, possibly just to the left of that palm tree. So very cool. You can actually fly away from me outside your range. It is, it is a little bit risky. Something could happen. I would have the keys in your pocket in case it does not return. You can go in your car and you can register the last known coordinates if something happened. Uh, if you had a tree or something, or you could possibly see it on this map. So what's going to happen here at this last waypoint is it's just going to sit there. Wherever it is. Alright, so it'll just sit there until you get a command. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that waypoint switch on. Notice how it doesn't say waypoint anymore. And I'm just going to flip on the home switch. Then measure your battery, just see how much battery time you have. Don't just shoot it out there to 3,500 meters. Make sure that your battery can make it. All right, so here we come. It's about a 15 minute flight.
Okay. Thanks, Hudson. That is a lot of fun. Okay, happy flying.